Today's video is about a sensitive topic and I'd really appreciate if you could watch the video the whole way through so you can understand the entire story. You see, I used to walk like a penguin and if you think you know what I'm going to say, then you're wrong. I've talked a lot about my post-stroke symptoms in my videos and how carnivore has helped me, but that's not what I'll be talking about today. It's much more sensitive than that. So today, I'll be talking about how carnivore cured my penguinism. Just before we get into it, guys, please do me a massive favor and smash like and also click subscribe. This really helps out the channel and I am grateful for your support. Let's get into it. The first thing you need to know is that I'm all right now. And that is entirely thanks to the carnivore diet. To explain what happened, I need to go back a couple of years. At this time, I was working as a trainer. I was training business people on how to deliver speeches and presentations with confidence. And I'd do this by going on site to a manufacturing company, a pharmaceutical company or a bank and train their staff on how to be more confident, engaging and assertive when they deliver a speech. These were normally one day training sessions which took eight hours. And this meant that I would eat lunch with the participants. And lunch was usually great, always provided by the cafe in the company's training center. And the food that's provided in training centers is generally top notch beautifully presented Japanese bento box lunches. These bento boxes were so well presented and they also contained good food with a very balanced approach to nutrition. Your meat, your veg, your rice, some soup. And it always tasted great. But the afternoon session of the training day following that lunch was never good. You see, all the participants would be tired after their lunch. So I'd have them standing, working together in groups. And inevitably, I would get a question about something they were working on from one of the groups, which meant I would need to go over from the middle of the room to that specific group to listen to what they wanted to ask. And that's when disaster struck. With my stomach rumbling after eating a lot of carbs with my lunch, I would start to walk over to the group. And then I would feel a fart coming on. And it was one of those ones that you don't know if you can trust. If I let rip, is this just going to be air? And it always pays to be suspicious of a fart that's following a rumbly tummy. But I'd already started walking towards the group with the question, so I couldn't suddenly just stop. The group was waiting, so I had to clench and waddle over to them like a penguin. I'd address their question and then waddle back to the center of the room. And that feeling would eventually go away, but then it would come back again at unexpected times throughout the rest of the afternoon. And I was stuck. I couldn't say, train yourselves, I'm going to the bathroom for 20 minutes. And this would happen almost every time. But being on carnivore has put a stop to that. No more rumbly tummies and no more farts that I can't trust. In fact, in 11 months, I've hardly farted. And on the occasion that I have, I've never felt that I can't trust it. And so I don't have to walk like a penguin anymore. What's your experience? Leave a comment below. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. You see, I used to walk... <laughs> I can't do this. You see, I used to walk like a penguin. <laughs> So today, I'll be talking about how carnivore cured my penguinism. <laughs> so today, I'll be talking about how carnivore cured... <laughs> Spit it out.